Microbial control involves the use of microorganisms to manage pests and diseases in agriculture. These microorganisms serve as natural enemies to harmful pests and pathogens. The growing importance of microbial control lies in its role in sustainable agriculture, where reducing reliance on chemical pesticides is key. Microbial control provides environmentally friendly alternatives with a lower risk of pests developing resistance compared to chemical options. In the next slide, we will explore the different types of microbial agents used in pest and disease control. Types of Microbial Agents there are four main types of microbial agents. 1. Bacteria. For example, Bacillus thuringiensis Bt is widely used. 2. Fungi. Includes species like Bovaria bassiana and Trichoderma spp. 3. Viruses. Baculoviruses are commonly applied. 4. Nematodes. Entomopathogenic nematodes play a vital role. Each of these agents has a unique function in controlling pests or diseases, targeting specific organisms without harming beneficial species or the environment. In the next slide, we will dive deeper into bacterial control agents and their mechanisms. Bacterial control agents. A prime example of a bacterial agent is Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt. Bt produces crystalline proteins that are toxic to specific insect larvae when consumed. These proteins disrupt the larvae's digestive systems, leading to death. Bt is used in genetically modified crops like Bt corn, cotton, and soybeans, significantly reducing the need for chemical insecticides. It is highly selective, meaning it targets only pests, leaving humans, animals, and other non-target species unharmed. In the next slide, we will look at fungal control agents and their roles in pest management. Fungal control agents. Fungi like Bovaria bassiana and Trichoderma spp are effective microbial control agents. Bovaria bassiana works by attaching to the cuticle of insects, germinating and penetrating the body, ultimately killing the insect. It is particularly effective against pests such as aphids, whiteflies, and beetles. Trichoderma spp works differently by competing with plant pathogens for nutrients in space. It also produces enzymes that break down pathogenic fungi. Trichoderma is used to manage diseases such as root rot and damping off in crops like vegetables and cereals. Both fungal agents promote plant growth and are environmentally safe. In the next slide, we will cover viral control agents and how they function. Viral control agents. Baculoviruses are a group of viruses that infect and kill insect larvae. These viruses invade the insect cells, disrupting their normal function and leading to death. Baculoviruses are highly specific and are used primarily to control pests in forestry and agriculture, such as caterpillars. They are safe for non-target species, including beneficial insects, birds, and mammals. And an example is the use of baculoviruses in managing gypsy moth populations in forestry. In the next slide, we will focus on nematode control agents and their applications. Nematode control agents. Entomopathogenic nematodes are microscopic worms that target insects. These nematodes enter the insect's body through natural openings like the mouth or spiracles and release symbiotic bacteria that kill the insect host rapidly. Nematodes are effective against soil-dwelling pests such as grubs, weevils, and cutworms in turf, crops, and horticulture. Their specificity means they target only the pests, causing minimal environmental impact. Microbes are incorporated into the soil to manage pests and diseases that live below ground. Seed coating. Seeds are coated with microbial agents to protect young plants from soil-borne pathogens. Biopesticide formulations. Microbial agents are available in different forms, such as liquid, powder, or granules, making them easy to apply depending on the specific need. In the next slide, we will examine the advantages of microbial control. Advantages of microbial control. Microbial control provides many benefits. Environmentally safe. These agents have low toxicity to non-target species, preserving the natural ecological balance. Resistance management. 
Compared to chemical pesticides, microbial agents reduce the likelihood of pests developing resistance. Sustainability, they are a key part of integrated pest management, IPM, contributing to long-term agricultural sustainability. Specificity, microbial agents target specific pests or pathogens, minimizing the impact on beneficial organisms. In the next slide, we will address the challenges and limitations associated with microbial control. Challenges and limitations. Despite the advantages, microbial control has its challenges. Environmental conditions. The effectiveness of microbial agents can be affected by environmental factors like temperature, humidity, and UV exposure. Shelf life. Microbial products tend to have shorter shelf lives than chemical pesticides, making storage and transportation more challenging. Cost. The initial costs of microbial agents can be higher, although the long-term environmental and economic benefits may outweigh these costs. Adoption. Educating farmers and raising awareness about proper application is crucial for wider adoption of microbial control methods. In the next slide, we will review case studies to illustrate the success of microbial control. Case studies. Here are a few examples. BT corn, this genetically modified crop has had a significant impact on controlling European corn borer populations. Trichoderma, successfully used to control root diseases in vegetable crops. Baculoviruses, these viruses have proven effective in managing pests in fruit orchards and forests. These case studies highlight the practical applications of microbial control in modern agriculture. In the next slide, we will discuss future prospects and advancements in microbial control. Future prospects. The future of microbial control is promising, with advancements in several areas. Genetic engineering. Ongoing research focuses on enhancing the efficacy of microbial control agents through genetic modification. Microbial consortia. Scientists are developing synergistic combinations of microbial agents to target a broader range of pests. Improved formulations. Efforts are being made to create more stable and effective biopesticide formulations for easier use and longer shelf life. Further research is needed to understand the long-term impacts and integration of microbial control with other pest management strategies. In the next slide, we will summarize the key points of the presentation. <laughs> Conclusion. To conclude, microbial control is a, is a vital component of sustainable agriculture. It reduces the reliance on chemical pesticides, making farming more eco-friendly and helping to manage resistance. With ongoing research and technological advancements, microbial control is set to play an even bigger role in the future of agriculture.